Hey guys, it's Jenna. Um, yes, using my real name for my S. I'm sorry, Cody pointed out in the last video that I used my nickname and his real name. So, just need to adjust to the changeover. Um, I haven't, neither of us have put up a vlog in a couple days. It's been two days, three days at this point. I've been having really bad vertigo from adjusting to a new medication that I'm, well, it's not new, I'm back on it. Mom, our fertility specialist did some blood tests about a month ago at this point, and one of the things he checked because of signs that I showed and we talked about in a previous video of insulin resistance on my skin, the dark bands that are around my neck. You can kind of see it there. It's not a tan. It's not dirt. It's not some sort of distress mark from clothing. It's natural to my skin. And so based on that sign, and I have them underneath my arms, underneath my... Um, breasts and between my thighs and so those markings cued our specialist to do some blood tests to see exactly where everything is my sugar levels are absolutely normal um, strangely enough but my insulin levels are astronomically high and so much so to the point that I'm back on metformin, also known as glucophage. It's used to help with insulin control for diabetics, but it has, for me, fertility-wise, even though I'm not diabetic yet, apparently this insulin resistance could eventually cause me to be diabetic. Um, this medicine has a, an effect on me twofold as a fertility treatment not only does it bring the hormone insulin yes insulin's a hormone back down to normal levels over the next couple weeks it will also cause the cilia and follicles in my female reproductive tract to become more active and I don't know if that's a byproduct of the insulin levels coming down or if it's just something the medication does as an added bonus. That's why I was on it previously was for that additional cilia and fibroids being in, enticed to work better. Um, so I'm back on it and I'm telling you it is doing its job. The doctor forewarned me that I would have some upset stomach issues and that my stool would not be very nice. Um, he, his exact words were, it will feel greasy. And as somebody who doesn't have a gallbladder, it's distressing having to go to the bathroom suddenly for no reason, seemingly. And he said, fair warning, it's normal, you'll be okay. And at first I'm just doing one pill a day for a week the next week it's one pill in the morning then one pill at dinner time and then the week after that and permanently therefore I assume he's basically easing me into it I'll have two pills in the morning and one at night or one at dinner time and he gave me a hundred and eighty of them so it's going to last me a while, <coughs> um, which I was quite pleased when I picked up the medicine from the pharmacist pharmacy. It was fairly cheap compared to other medications I'm on. Um, it was a good bit less than our usual copay, so I was happy for that. And uh, surprisingly, the pharmaceutical end of our insurance is taking my diagnosis for PCOS, at least for the glucophage, as a good reason to be on it. They're not looking at the doctor or signing it as being a specialist. They're looking at the diagnosis for what it's being used for. 
So yes, one of the many more medications I'm about to be put on probably is being covered. But I think that's going to be the only one just because glucophage has multiple uses outside of what I'm using it for. So there's more to this quote long story of the fertility update, but I'm going to leave Cody to give you the other part because the other part deals with him. Basically for me, once we get my insulin down, then we can start treating everything else. But until my insulin comes down, we really can't do anything. And the doctor's hoping three weeks to a month, we'll get it down to a pretty normal level. Everything else is looking great. My thyroid is functioning just fine, which was a concern because a lot of people who have struggles with weight problems also get concerned about th their thyroid. And mine's working quite fine. Also, another reason why that's good, my mom has had parathyroid issues in the past, and that manages um, your calcium levels in the body. And mine seems to be doing just fine so far, knock on wood, metaphorically there. Um, but I'm still recovering from being sick. It's been a week since I went to the doctor for some help, and what I had was viral, and it turned bacterial, so the meds for that are kicking in and helping, but I still have a little bit of a sniffle and a lot of chest congestion. It's been very difficult, usually by the third or fourth class period, because I teach five class periods back to back without a break. Usually by fourth period, my voice is almost gone. So I'm having to struggle to keep my voice for the last couple periods of the day. So I'm really hoping that this goes away fairly quickly. Um, September, and I'll be talking about this here in a future video, September is a difficult month for me for multiple reasons. So that's coming up in a future video. We're going to do, we're going to have to redo our second challenge video. I technically won the first one, but well, you might have to redo the challenge altogether and just consider that a lesson learned and I'll have to sacrifice my victory. So we're going to have to do another challenge video. And at this rate, we need two of them, two and three, to catch up. And I had tried filming my makeup tutorial video and the audio failed on it. Go figure. So I'll have to redo that in some way, shape, or form. Cody has some evening shifts this week, but he also has some morning shifts coming his way, which means a better chance of him and I being able to record videos together. And we are going to be implementing some new things in our relationship. We've been married for going on five years. It'll be five years this coming summer. So we just celebrated four years this past July. And no marriage is perfect and we still struggle. So we might discuss some of the things we're trying out to help us cope with the bumps along the way. And... At the same time, I just gotta say, I'm one lucky woman. I absolutely love my husband. He is so wonderful. He frequently makes it a point to tell me that he believes in me and that he has good hopes and positive energies about me. And that's strange because there's been so much negativity in my life. And even though he and I have been together for almost eight years at this point since we first started dating, it's still a struggle some days for him, I'm sure, dealing with me and my bipolar because he has to fight against so much. There's so much baggage that came with me emotionally and mentally when we've got together and he's been a real trooper and I'm very thankful for him. He makes it a point to find every way to tell me that what I'm doing is right, what I feel is justified. And 
one of the things, for example, that he just posted today, and that's probably him messaging me, um, one of the things he just posted on Facebook to me today is just to remind me that I'm not worthless, I'm not stupid, I'm not useless, and that basically it's my anxiety lying to me. And some people might think, well, you know, he's attacking your anxiety. No, he's not. He's telling me, I know you think these things about yourself. And while I acknowledge you say them, I don't think that's true. And honestly, I've very, very few people in my life have ever stopped to say, whoa, wait a minute, hold up that's not true about you and I very much treasure in my heart all the positive things that he has ever done for me in that way and he just continues to support me emotionally and he's so strong and I'm very thankful for him for that I love you Cody very much and I'm looking forward to spending the rest of our lives together when we exchanged our vows. I told him that I look forward to kissing him because our very first kiss we ever had, he kissed me without even saying hello the first date we went on. He just walked up to me and kissed me when we met in the mall in Altoona and that kiss was amazing. I still remember the way I felt and I still feel this way every time we kiss and it's literally like kissing him for the first time in a long time. It was the first kiss of many kisses, but it was as if I had done it before and it felt so right. It felt so comforting and I absolutely love my husband. Nothing will ever change that. We might fight, we might squabble, we might get angry at each other, but at the end of the day, it doesn't change the fact that I absolutely love the man I'm married to. So, I'm grateful for the divine, f for sending him to me and letting him be in my life. And I'm grateful to him for staying. When we, I believe when we were engaged... Yeah, it must have been when we were engaged because I was living at an apartment at the time. He told me that I've seen the scars and I'm staying. And that's very supporting anybody out there who hears this. And you or your beloved is going through a rough time or your friend or a family member. Just tell them, hey, I've got your back. I'm here for you. I know it's rough. You are validated. You are justified in how you feel. And I love you and I support you. Telling somebody that means the world. And I just don't think we tell it to each other enough as a, as a society or as a human race. And I think the best thing for us to do is to just be there for one another and say, hey, I might not agree with everything you say or do, but I believe in you. And simply saying those three words, I believe in you or I support you, will make a world of difference in somebody's life. So guys, hang in there with whatever's going on. Light is ahead of you. No, it's not a speeding train. Things will get better, I promise. It may be raining today, but there's sunshine around the corner. So keep your chins up, hold your head high, and know that everything's going to be alright because I believe in you guys. Thanks for all the support. If you'd like to see more vlogs from Cody and I, and if you would like daily vlogs especially, please like, comment, and subscribe. Much love.